but something that you want to tackle yourself, we'll show you how to do it. This is a Redonaway RP145, manufactured in December of 2016. I will plug this back in so you can hear how loud this fan is. The bearings in this fan are starting to fail. I will disconnect it. Start by taking the cover off the electrical box. So be careful on this, make sure you kill the power to it. You could also shut the breaker off in the basement that powers the fan. Take those wires apart. And we'll just loosen this. So there's just kind of a nut on here. They might be wired a little bit differently on yours. I'm gonna take that nut off and then I can pull the wires out of the hole there. We gotta tackle uh, the rubber couplers here. So that's where the 5 16 nut driver comes into play. Uh, the customer did buy this house about a year ago and uh, did not do a radon test. So I just threw an eco tracker down in the basement or gave her one to plug in and we'll have a good idea of what the radon levels uh, are with this current setup before we leave. I have a critter guard on the top it doesn't look like, but it doesn't look like we got a ton of debris in there either. There's not really any big trees over it. And it's kind of got this weird jog where it goes up around back to the house and then up and around again. Um, it's a little bit goofy in that sense. So we'll maybe clean some of this junk out. We're replacing it with a Fantech RN2, which would be the equivalent of the Radonaway RP145. So very similar performance. Check down there, there's no debris or anything. We'll slip this fan in. Like that. And then slide the coupler down. And then we'll wire this up. So wiring's a little bit different on this Fantech fan. They do not use the ground. So we'll put that back in. We'll put that nut back on and tighten it back up. Fan replacement is Pretty straightforward. When you're in an attic, it's a little bit easier in the sense that the cord is just a plug-in cord. So you can unplug it from the outlet. It's not hardwired like this. Downside to the attic is you're in an attic and you're crawling through insulation a lot of times. Exception is like the garage attic is not always that way. So I'm just using the screwdriver to tighten up that nut so that this rubber ring makes a seal. And that's what it looks like inside. So that nut is just right here and just tightens against the plastic. All right, now we're ready to wire. The black goes to the black and red terminal, which is the middle one. Put that in, I'm gonna tighten that up. So you will need a little screwdriver to do the Fantec fan. And then the white, this is the most confusing part. You'd think white would go to white again, but there is no white on the Fantec end. So white goes to blue. And then we'll snug that down. And then we're not using the ground. So I'm just gonna throw a wire nut on that. Holes here that line up with these posts. So we'll get that on there and we should be good. I'm gonna test this, just make sure it works before I put the cover on. And we've got airflow there. Let it blow some of that debris out. All right. Now we'll put that cover back on. Manufacturer says you don't have to do this, but I think the fan lasts longer if the fan is plumb and level. And I don't want water to pool in one side of the fan. I'm just gonna snug those just a hair. So I can still move it. That looks pretty good. Just make sure everything's snug. Don't have to over tighten this. I'm gonna head down in the basement, put a new label on the system. I'm gonna check my eco tracker to see what her radon levels are. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you are in the Minnesota area and you would like help with fan replacement, mitigation system, or radon testing, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching.